Jets and Good gentlemen. evening, everybody. From Joe Tessitore Royal and Teddy London Atlas Theater. welcoming you the to the Royal London Theater here in London, England boxing. for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action in between Royal Mike Tyson and Sonny Liston. They're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping leather. This is 10 rounds. Good block there by Mike Tyson. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Teddy, I assume many times in your career, you were instructing a fighter that was going to face a fighter who just had the longer reach, flat out had it. What did you tell him? What did you try to cement in his head leading up to that fight? You know, sometimes you get caught up when you're fighting a fighter with those great, outstanding physical attributes like tallness and height, reach advantage. You start to think that only one way is the way to go. You got to force yourself to work your way in. I remind myself and I remind my fighter that you can step out and make the taller man give up his height. Walk him into traps. Targeting a left hand to the body. A sound combination by Mike Tyson. Sonny Liston's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Nice work, Tyson with the hook. Oh, what an exchange! Oh, very nice. Smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Mike Tyson's left, working well that time. Good two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Big left hand from Iron Mike. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Cut right on the mark. You look at those punch stats and you say, okay, Mike Tyson's the busier man. It doesn't matter if Mike Tyson's busy or not. It doesn't take much for him to get rid of a guy. No, because you know that he's not looking to outpitch you. <laughs> he's looking to outhit you. And he's looking to do it with one shot right over the fence. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Fires off the hook. Look at that. Well-placed double jab. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Tyson's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good, solid counter. Flush right hand to the head. Right to the body. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Tyson's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Liston's eye is an absolute mess. That cut is really a major issue. Now, oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. Big shot. Fabulous uppercut scores the knockdown there. Boy, did he have leverage on that. Yeah, he positioned himself beautifully. He got underneath that punch. That's why it had the power. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. And we come to the end of round number two. 
Liston's cut man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things, Avertine, adrenaline, and thrombin. I'm wondering if he's using illegal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Blocks that punch. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. Solid right by Mike Tyson. Sonny Liston's coming out to fight this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, any idea? Do you think he's recouped enough here? Well, we're going to find out very quickly by looking at his legs. You're going to look downstairs just like you look downstairs in the basement of a house to see whether or not those bricks are in place or whether or not some of the mortar has kind of disappeared and the bricks are a little loose. We want to see if those legs are stable if they're firm. And now another left. Up top with the right hand. Iron Mike lands the left. Good. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Double jab upstairs. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Solid right by Mike Tyson. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Tyson's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Three minutes gone by in this round. Start of round four, I was trying to listen in to what was told to him after the third round. Teddy, he trails on your scorecard three rounds as if. He's throwing a lot of punches, but he needs some better advice. Yeah, well, one of the things that he could be told, and I would tell him, is move after your last punch. Don't stand there and wait for the receipt. You're paying a price. Liston's not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. A stabbing right hand comes in by Mike Tyson. When he lands that jab and that straight punch, Sonny Liston is a real dangerous fighter. That jab alone can knock you down coming from Liston. There's that overhand right. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Liston's got a way of just getting away from that punch. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Commits to the straight right. A little something of his own. Blocks the shot, brings back the uppercut. Liston's able to land a good, solid left hand. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Ten seconds to go in this round. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Tyson's ability to get to his man paid off well there. He damaged him in that round. They start up again. Back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. Target, he lands a straight right. 
There's the headshot, but he parries it away. A huge right hand from Mike Tyson. Doubling up the jab now. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Mike Tyson's got that catch-me-if-you-can kind of attitude. He's almost daring his opponent at this point to try to land a headshot. But his movement's been so good. His defense is just supreme. Yeah, it is. He's moving from the waist. He's slipping the straight shots. He's weaving the hooks. He's doing a real magical job in there. But his opponent is making no adjustments at all. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's gonna be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's gonna get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. for what is the second half of this fight. Who knows what we're in store for. And that had some bite to it, that right hand by Mike Tyson. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Locks the headshot. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Solid uppercut. Nice work to the midsection with the left. Liston's right hand scores well that time. Right to the belt line. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Mike Tyson with a big right hand. Nice combination by Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson blocking that punch. Good looking right hand after he got hit. What guts it takes, what commitment it takes to keep up with this kind of a pace. The action's been non-stop. Now, the one thing I can tell you is this is where you don't worry about pace. You don't think about pace. Otherwise, you could not be doing what these guys are doing. They're just going round to round. Tyson's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. And round six comes to an end. Liston's, well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. Not able to land the headshot. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand 
after getting scored upon. Tyson's hit by a counter punch there. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Tyson's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. A headshot block. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Very accurate two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. He comes with the straight right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Crashes home with the uppercut. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Mike Tyson's on the receiving end of a hook. And round seven comes to an end. been a good looking fight here as we start round number eight. Tyson's done a good job. He's got the lead on your scorecard. However, he has gotten hit tonight. Teddy, he could use to sharpen up that defense. Yeah, well, you know what he's doing wrong? He's giving opportunities. That's a good point, Joe. He's giving opportunities to his opponent because he's covering up, putting those earmuffs on too much. And when he does that, he handcuffs himself and his opponent's taking advantage. Protecting his head well with his guard. That straight right unable to connect. Iron Mike with a big uppercut. Blocks away that headshot. Mike Tyson's well off the mark that time. Blocks that punch. A flush hook scores well for him. Sonny Liston's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Showing you some defense there with the block. Mike Tyson's gathering himself right now in the corner, and his trainer is really doing him a good service in reminding him. Yes, to this point, the later stages of this fight, you're in control, but still, go out and do everything we talked about in training camp. Mike Tyson digs deep with a big uppercut. On the mark with the hook after blocking that shot. Liston scoring with that right hand.
Tyson's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Able to dismiss that body shot. The combination punching now scoring well by Mike Tyson. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. Well placed counter punch by Mike Tyson. Upstairs. Tyson's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. And now he scores well with a straight right. Turning back now, 10th round is upon us, last round of the fight. What a smart combination by Mike Tyson. Defense easily turns into offense, blocks a blow, sends an uppercut. Liston's combination punching is working well here. Tyson's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Able to show you his blocking ability. boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Blocks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Oh, he is absolutely affected by that right hand. Never saw it coming. Worst kind of right hand you can see. And yet another big shot comes in. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? One, two, three, four. Sonny Liston's back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Liston's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Little volume punching to the body there. Well, you should lose your judge's license if you have it any yeah, other way but the obvious. Here, Teddy. The yeah, if they do that, I want to put those guys on a poster, a wanted poster, if you don't want them. Here's our ring announcer. Mike Tyson's work tonight was well rewarded.